In this video, let's take a look at the new and improved content templates feature in Thrive Architect. Because if you learn to master this feature, it really takes your website building game to another level. Hello, I'm Shane Melach from Thrive Themes. And content templates, first of all, what are they? Content template means that you can take any design component that you've created and you can save it to then reuse again and again. So instead of kind of, let's say, building a content box from scratch every time, you build the skeleton, the parts that are always gonna be the same, you save that, and then you can start from that and make the changes you want with the template. So let's look at some specific examples of what that means. Here's a WordPress page where I've just added some content in Thrive Architect. And let's start by adding a styled box because first of all, we already have many templates that are made by our design team and content templates is basically a way in which you can add your own. So here we have a lot of content boxes and I'm just gonna pick one. You know, let's say I like the look of one of these, so I'll choose this. But let's say I like this template mostly, but it's not, it's not quite exactly what I want. So that is where the content template feature will come in. So, I would change some things, you know, let's say I change the icon color here to something else. And maybe I also want a button in here. So I'll go and I'll drop a button inside this box and maybe I'd make a few modifications to this button. And the important thing here is that really I'm just making, you know, I'm just making some changes as an example here. But the important thing is that I can change this however I want. And there is a container around it. So what we're looking at here is a box with stuff inside it. And the box is important because that's how I can save multiple elements altogether. And so ideally with a content template, you wanna have a content box or a background section or columns, and you put your stuff in there and that's what you save. And to do that, all I do is I click on the box, I select the box, and next to the label, there's this little save icon. So I click on the save icon and right here, I can save this as my template. So let's call it demo box. So I'll save that. And after a few seconds, you see a notification template saved. Now on this page, but also on any other page on the website, I can drop the templates and symbols element. And here I can choose from my saved templates. So here we have the demo box. When I insert this, there we go. And what I can do, and this is an important distinction, what I can do, for example, let's say I have these feature boxes and I have several and some things about this box are gonna be the same and some are gonna be different. So if I have these feature boxes, this title would be different and maybe the button link would be different, right? I'd have a different link in each of these buttons. Maybe I'd also change the button color from one box to the next. So they are not identical. These are not linked together. The icon would be different as well for sure. Let's see, like this, right? So I would have multiple boxes. They all have the, the, the same frame. They all have the same layout, but they are not exactly linked together. If you wanted to create a box that is always the same, where you have multiple instances of the box, and if you change one, they all change, you would have to save it as a symbol. And I'll link to the tutorial that explains how to do that below this video as well. So that is the basis of how we use a content template. I wanna have this type of box and I save it and reuse it and make my changes as I need. So with that said, let's look at some of the example uses. What can you do? How is the content template useful? So I'll show you some of my favorite templates that I tend to use on my websites. First of all, I love having a note box. Here's my note box template. As you can see, I've styled a simple content box to kind of look like a sticky note. And this is great for blog content, right? You're writing your blog content. Whenever I have like an aside or even just something I wanna highlight, I put it inside this note box. And the cool thing about this is, first of all, it helps separate the content, right? It makes the kind of breaks the content into chunks. It makes it look much more professional and it's a great way to highlight a certain part of the content. Another example of such a box that I use for content marketing is the tips box. So right here, I've saved this as quick tip box. This is what it looks like. And once again, you know, you just insert this in your content. This could be just a simple paragraph, right? If it was, I mean, you can add this tip just as you're writing, it's just another paragraph. But think of how different the impression is between a blog post that just has paragraph, 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 and one that has something like this. 
It's a simple design. You build it once, you save it, and then you reuse it. It just makes your content look so much more professional. And we can take this even further. Again, when we're writing content, you can always think of what are some things that I'm going to use again and again in my content. So how about a conclusion box for product reviews, right? So here I have a whole box where every time I do a product review, this would be at the end. I have, I, I have my title here with a conclusion. I have a summary, I have a score. I have the basically visual representation of that score, star rating, and I have a pros and cons list. So this is something that I can construct once and then use it again and again for my product reviews. And then finally, there's another possible use here. Let's drop another one in here. I also created a content pattern example. So I'll link to the post below about content patterns. There the idea will be you can create a repeating structure in your post where your content has several chapters. Every chapter has an image like this. It has a subheading, then it has a few paragraphs, and then it has a key takeaway box. And this creates for a great structure in your content. And this is exactly an example of using a content template as the skeleton of what you want to build, right? So this is kind of a fill in the blanks kind of thing. I can basically repeat this content pattern and for every bit in my post, for every chapter, I change the image, I fill in the text, I change the key takeaway and so on. And I arrive at a really professional looking, nicely structured post much more quickly than if I build this from scratch every time. Now, one more thing, when I save something, maybe you saw that there's a checkbox here, you can add a template to a category. And you can choose your categories or you can add a new one right here. And so let's have a look at what that does. To do that, let's go to our Thrive dashboard. So in WordPress admin, that's this link right here. And then we can go to the templates and symbols dashboard. Right here, you'll see all your saved symbols, separate tutorial below, and your content templates. And here you can see the categories. You can also create a new category in here. You can rename them. You can move templates from one category into another, and you can remove your templates. So this is basically your overview. You can see here, I have a category called box with my boxes inside. So this is your overview of all of your categories and here you can easily manage them. All right, those are the basics of how to use content templates. But while we're at it, let's go a bit deeper and let's have a look at some of the more advanced things to know about content templates, plus some other bonus tips. The first one is, let's look at this construction right here, this content template. If I look at the individual elements, here I have a heading, here I have a paragraph and so on. And as you'll see in the font face over here in the styles, it says inherit, right? Same here, inherit. So these fonts are set to simply inherit the styles of the theme or of the landing page that they're being used on. And this is a great feature and one you should be aware of. Here's how this impacts your work. Let's say we load a landing page here where we have a different style, right? All of our landing page templates come with their own uniquely styled font sets. Now here, if I insert this same content template, let's drop this in here. And again, we choose our review template. And as you'll see, this looks slightly different. We'll put up a quick side by side here so you can see. You can see that basically, well, the fonts are different, right? You can see this title is different. The text here is different. This number also, you can see quite clearly it's a different font. And that's because this template basically automatically matches its surroundings, right? This has kind of almost a chameleon effect here, where no matter what template or what theme you use this on, it will, it will inherit the correct font styles and it will have this look that matches its surroundings. Now, in most cases, this is what we want. This is a desirable effect. But if you build a template where you don't want that to be the case, if you wanna, want a template to keep the exact fonts you set, no matter where you put it, you can also do that. To do that, when you're building your content template, you wanna select your fonts and here, basically instead of choosing inherit, right? Instead of choosing this option, you choose Google fonts or WebSafe fonts or whatever font you want. So as long as you specifically define a font while you're building the template, it will keep that font. And if you choose the inherit option, it will have this chameleon effect that I just showed you. Now let's look at another cool feature. In fact, let me show you two cool features in combination. So let's take this button here, right? Let's look at this button and we say, wow, this button is really cool. Maybe I wanna change the color, make it look slightly different, but I really like the style, you know, the drop shadow it has and all this. 
So what can I do if I want to use this button in other places on my website? Well, obviously I can save it as a content template. So same as before, I'll call it demo button and I'll save this as a template. Now I can drop this button using the templates and symbols feature, but there's also a shortcut. On any page, whether this one or another one on the side, I can drop a button and I can choose this style dropdown and right here is the button I just saved. So I can easily save and load button styles. There's basically a shortcut to my saved button styles right in the button options on this style dropdown. If you're wondering why this goes the full width, it's because in this case, the button is inside a content box with a restricted width. So it is actually a full width button. We just didn't see that before. So that is a way in which you can easily access saved button templates. But the other thing here is it means that if you are looking at a landing page template and there's something you really like, so maybe this box here, maybe I really like this box, I can save this. And again, I'll just quickly save this as something. And that gives me a new content template that I can use anywhere. So let's go back to our theme page. And here I can drop in a new template, choose the one I just saved. And here we go. So, and again, you can see it, it adapted, it inherited the fonts that are on this page right now. That's why it doesn't look exactly the same, but it gives me the same style. So this way you can easily steal any design component, any section, any box you like in any of the templates that are built into Thrive Architect. Finally, you should be aware that for this kind of duplicating and reusing elements, there are several additional options. First of all, of course, any element right here has a duplicate feature. So I click that, it creates a new box. That's a very quick way of doing it. Also, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and you drag an element, then it will create a duplicate in the new position instead of moving. So that's, those are two ways in which you can quickly duplicate stuff without saving and loading anything as long as you're staying on the same page. What you can also do, so right now I have a page where I've built a bunch of content using Thrive Architect. And what I can do is in the page settings, I can save this entire content as a template. So that will just take everything that's on the page right now and save it as one single template that I can insert on a different page. And then finally, let me load a landing page template again. So if I have a landing page here and let's say I've made some customizations, I've made this my own. I can also go to the page setup and I can save this landing page as my own landing page template. All right, so that is an overview over how to use the content templates feature, including some shortcuts and some advanced uses and all the ways in which you can save and reuse and duplicate stuff as you're working with Thrive Architect. This is something I really recommend you get familiar with and try out for yourself because first of all, it's really easy to do and secondly, by using these features, it will make you faster, it will make you faster in editing your pages and your website. And it will also make your website just look more professional. When you have these elements that you keep reusing, it creates that consistent design feeling and that makes for a really good web design. So I hope you enjoy the new and improved content templates feature in Thrive Architect. And if you have any questions about this or you'd like to learn more, just leave a comment below.